Hey guys, a long time no see, and I am so grateful that you clicked on today's video. Today is going to be one of just us catching up and chit chatting as of why I haven't been filming. So I hope that you guys grab a snack and a drink because you're in for a good one. Um, but yeah, enjoy today's video. I was really comfortable in being miserable, you guys. Like, the freaking sprinklers turned on. You gotta protect your skin, ladies and gentlemen. On the neck, because... Neglecting my neck. Another day, I saw, like, a lady post a TikTok, and she's, like, in her 40s or something, and she's like, girls, don't forget to put sunscreen on your neck, because it ages really fast and i'm like say less i have like super super sensitive skin like sensitive like everything about me is sensitive like you guys don't even understand um so this is the sunscreen that i use it doesn't give me that like sticky feeling or it doesn't have like a smell to it. So it's really good. I recommend it if you um, if you have sensitive skin like me. Okay guys, so the agenda for today. I am on my way to the store. I want to pick up some flowers and I want to get a Starbucks. And I just want to sit down and chat with you about what has been going on with me for the past year or since the last time I filmed, to be honest, because a lot has happened and I just want to chat with you. I have missed you, but um, yeah, let's get today started. Let's see where the day takes us and let's go to Freddy's. we have finally made it to the park and i am a little bit nervous um i'm getting a little bit of the jitters maybe it is my um iced tea but oh my gosh um it's been a while since me and you got connected and i'm so grateful that you're here and um i'm excited to give you a little insight into what's been going on with me and where life has taken me um so yeah i wrote down some things on my ipad because i just want to make sure that everything that i want to say is being expressed clearly and that this video isn't going to be all over the place because honestly if i could i would probably talk for a few hours because i mean how do i catch you up in the past year um in just like a short little video um it's impossible and i'm honestly i'm I'm really I'm really feeling it right now I'm really feeling a lot of emotions to be back on camera and to be chatting with you um, so yeah let's get this video started so first thing on my notes is where have I been and why did I stop filming um, thankfully nothing major happened in my life where um, you know I am healthy my family is healthy everything in my life is good um, but mentally I was really struggling and I just told myself you know what let's just step away for a moment um, I didn't think it would take this long for me to get to this point but that is healing that is um, the journey of life 
you just sometimes have to face things and allow life to just lead you towards healing. I was really going through depression and having really low self-esteem and self-confidence and that like this whole year I've been struggling with it. I cannot lie about that and um, you know certain things happened in my life. Um, I met certain people that really triggered a lot of things inside of me and it made me reflect on who I am, what I'm doing in life. Like these just really heavy questions started to pop up in my life and um, I'm thankful honestly. I'm thankful that I am where I am today mentally and we'll get into it throughout this video. But I've been healing, it's been messy, it's been interesting. <laughs> All right, so the next thing on my notes is what did I learn from this time apart? Um, this whole year has taught me one of the biggest things that I think I finally realized that life has been trying to teach me and I, it just clicked. Like it has just officially clicked for me and I'm gonna read a little message that I wrote on my notes. The relationship you have with yourself is the one and only relationship that truly matters. There is something beautiful about each and every one of us. It is an absolute blessing to experience life through your eyes and through your essence. I want you to take note and take up space in this world. Practice living in the power because what you have to say is important and the world needs you. Um, it is only through you that a certain message can be received and delivered so take up space create share and be vulnerable to life and that is truly a message that resonates with myself and that i hope it resonates with you that you let go of fear and you just take up space like literally take up space this year say what you need to say create what you need to create chase after the dreams that you need to chase god is with you and it's a beautiful experience to be who you are and that is truly the message that i think this year and everything that i've been through this year has really taught me and i am so grateful and so happy that this message is being received and I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it, I get it, and I'm here for it. And I hope that's an encouragement to you as well. So moving on, in 2022, I really started questioning my faith and thankfully God led me to a church that really has impacted my faith in Jesus and in God. And I have been learning a lot about Christianity and it has been an absolute blessing for my life and realization in what's been going on in my life um so one of the major things that I learned this year as well is how God is redefining my identity in him um for so long i took identity in my depression i took identity in my anxiety and in my fears in my failures i was really comfortable in being miserable you guys like let's just call it what it is and that is a really harsh realization for me um realizing that as much as i wanted to be happy and i wanted to love my life I have been so accustomed and comfortable living in my pain. And when I came to this realization, I was like, wait a minute, that is revolutionary. Like it makes sense and it resonates with me. And I know that it's okay to be here. It's okay to realize that that's, that this is where I'm at. I accept that this is where I'm at and, um, in accepting that this is where I'm at comes real change and real opportunity for my inner self to grow, for my inner resilience to grow, to my inner confidence to grow because I can recognize where the root problem is and I can heal through God and through 
um, the truth. So that has been one of the major things that I've really picked up from this year is just redefining my identity in God and um, allowing myself to choose happiness, allowing myself to practice to choose happiness. Because I think for a while I was just on default, like just let's just complain like life is just coming at me like why is it me like just really tapping into and being really comfortable with the victimization of my life and when i realized that i'm i'm doing these things i'm like wait a minute like no i don't have to be a victim to life i can stand up for myself and i can say no this is not how i'm going to continue living my life like sorry you've had enough life you've been coming at me left and right but not anymore baby not anymore because i have the ability i have the tools i need and the strength i need to fight for myself and um and I thank that to God. God has really, my faith in God has really shifted something inside my spirit that can only, I can only recognize through him. Like, and it's just been, it's been beautiful. It's been beautiful and it's been a full circle moment. And I am honestly so grateful like that this realization and this, um, <sighs> this wisdom is being downloaded into my spirit like thank you god thank you god thank you thank you thank you lost my train of thought let's go back to the notes because that is important and hold on because there is a plane that is coming right above me so perfect time to take a little sip break it truly is an everyday practice to choose better for myself and I think this is something it's going to be a practice for the rest of my life I am not saying that you know my life is perfect now and that nothing bothers me and that I'm all of a sudden cured from all my mental health and depression and anxiety like no not at all but um I am tapping into a different reality I'm I'm choosing to take off my lens that I've been wearing for a lot of years and put on a different lens and see and see my struggles in a different way. And um, and some days I might want to pick up those old glasses and I might pick them up for a little bit and be like, you know what? This is why I am not going to choose those glasses anymore. So it's just having that patience that and awareness that life is flowing and some days you're up some days you're down as long as you keep the faith and you keep choosing yourself everything else is just a major plus i think one of the biggest things that is super important for me right now is learning how to build a healthy relationship for myself and with myself like I've never been here. I've never been in this point in my life and I'm so excited to be here because it just feels like I've been running a battle for years and like I can just breathe now and I can grow on everything that this last year and the years before that have taught me and it is refreshing to be here. It is refreshing and I am so grateful. All right, so lastly, where does that leave Soul Honey and where are we going? What does the next chapter look like on this channel? And there are three things that I know for certain is I truly just want to believe in myself. I want to bet on myself and i want to love the life that i live i want to wake up every day and just love the life that i'm creating for myself and um i want to inspire others i want to help and inspire others so with those things being said i will continue to make etsy studio vlogs it is something that i truly do enjoy i love making things and there are things that um I've made throughout this year that I'm excited to post on my Etsy shop and just 
you know i want to share the knowledge that i've learned in my etsy shop and everything that it's taught me but will it be my one and only focus on my channel no i want to incorporate other types of videos i want to talk about my life experiences and about my mental health and about this new relationship that i'm growing with myself i feel like everything that i've been through deserves to be spoken about because it holds value to me and i feel like it can help someone out there somehow and i love that connection um i love sharing my wisdom and my knowledge and i think that's what really like helps the world go round is building a community where we can be vulnerable about things and we can learn off of each other's experiences because life was really not meant to be dealt alone. It's meant to be dealt in the community in um, having people that you can relate to and be supported by. And that's the kind of community I wanna create for Soul Honey. I think it's so important. I really need it. And I want anybody who comes to this channel to feel that community, to feel that there is a safe place here and that there's no judgment and we're just trying to do our best here in life and just enjoy and create and that's where i want to take so honey that's i just want to grow with you i want to experience beautiful things i want to document my life there's only one life we get to live and i want to make sure that it's a good one because for the past years it truly hasn't mentally been a good one but that's the power of choice and that's why we're here and today is a great day um and that's my plans for so honey honestly like the rest is a mystery we'll let let's let life surprise us like we'll, let's not have it all figured out and let life just be like hey sprinkle sprinkle surprise you know um so i'm excited i'm excited for this new chapter in my life i'm excited for being back on camera and um yeah you guys that is all i have to say for now i hope that this video found you and i hope that it resonated with you if you are new here welcome i am janice and i am so grateful that you are here um please make yourself comfortable subscribe like comment and to all of my returning subscribers i have missed you so much and um you guys please comment in the comments below and say hello um let me know how you're doing let me know how your life is let me know your struggles let me let me hear you out i want to connect with you if you made it to the end of this video i have nothing but gratitude seriously thank you that is all i have to say i will see you in the next one much love and light so i was sitting in the grass right and the freaking sprinklers turned on <laughs> i wish i would have still been recording it was such a show like there was this guy watching me and i am sure he had the time of his life watching me just like scream and like try to get out out of the sprinklers and get all my stuff I was just talking about letting life surprise you and it sure just did um but yeah i'm gonna head home guys thank you so much for watching this video till next time bye